Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to tie one of the most simple and effective beach fishing rigs out there. And this rig will work at any beach around the world. This is just a classic rig that will catch you a lot of fish. So we've noticed a problem. A lot of people on our channel have been asking us for help because they want to catch fish but they don't know what kind of tackle to get. They don't know where to catch fish on the beach and when they go to the store it's just so overwhelming in there that you know there's so much tackle, there's so much terminal tackle. Which brands do I go with? Which sizes do I go with? Yes, it can be overwhelming. Especially if you're just starting out and you don't really have the time to put into doing all the research. Yes, it's difficult. but. We are here to help you folks out today. We have created the Senko Skipper Surf Fishing Adventure Kit, which answers just about as many questions as I could fit on a double-sided piece of laminated paper. Um, but basically, this will teach you the gear you need to, to catch a fish on the beach, how to tie a the, one of the best rigs to catch a fish on the beach, and basically how to choose hook size, how to choose pyramid sinker size, how to choose where to fish, even down to how to choose where to cast. Anyways, today I'm gonna to be talking about how to tie the Paternoster rig from the Senko Skipper Surf Fishing Adventure Kit. So the kit comes with 10 barrel swivels, which are really necessary because this is what keeps your line from tangling up like crazy. If you've ever, if you've ever used a rig without one of these swivels, you'll notice that your line will just start getting really wrapped up this prevents that from happening. So you need these. It comes with six size two hooks, which are really good for bigger fish. And it comes with eight size four hooks, which um, these are really good for smaller fish, smaller pieces of bait, for little bait stealers that keep stealing your bait. Also comes with a three ounce sinker and a two ounce sinker so that you can basically make a judgment. If, it, if the waves are too rough, I would put the three on and if the waves are not very rough, I'd put a two on. And today I'm gonna to be using all this stuff to, to show you how to tie a rig. So the kit comes with a 20 pound mono leader to tie your rigs, but for demonstration purposes, I'm going to be using this super bright neon um, thick braided line just so you guys can see it better. So what you're gonna wanna do is get four to five feet of leader line. Okay. Cut it. So do half and then a quarter. And this is where the first, this is where the first knot will be. So what you're gonna wanna do is use a spider hitch knot. And a spider hitch knot is a really simple thing to do. And uh, I'm gonna try and show you as clear, clearly as I can. You're gonna wanna make a loop about five inches long, okay? And then you're gonna wanna make another loop, just like this, right? Then pinch that loop. Can you see that? Twist, one, two, three, four, I do about six times. And then, you see how there's a loop right here? Put the first loop through the second loop and pull. Okay, and you're gonna wanna pull it from all three directions. So these two, this one, this one, make sure it's nice and tight. And that's your first knot. Okay, now another foot down. You're gonna put your second one. Right, five inches, fold it, and start looping. One, two, three, four, since this braid is so thick, I'm only gonna do four, but I would do five to six of them in real life. So this is basically the skeleton of the rig now, with these two loops and these two tail ends. So now I'm gonna show you guys how I, the knot that I use to tie to the swivel and to the sinker. 
It is called an improved clinch knot, and we show you how to do that in the illustration in the Surf Fishing Adventure Guide. Um, but I'm going to show you up close and personal. It doesn't matter which end you tie the swivel and sinker to, um, as long as these are equal. You want this hook to be sitting off, um, off the bottom. All right, ready? First, you're going to pass the line through twice. So you're going to make that little loop, right? See that? Now, you're going to twist this line right here around the standing line about six times. So here's my standing line right here, this side. One, two, is that clear? Yes. Three, I think it's clear. <laughs> four, and I'm just gonna do it four times because um, it, this braid is kind of hard. It doesn't it doesn't it doesn't slip? Okay, so after you've went through it six times, you see that first initial loop right here? Stick it through here. Okay, and then pull. Make sure you give it a good tug so it's really nice and tight. But this improved clinch knot is a very strong knot that I use for a lot of different things. So this is one that I really recommend you memorize. And the best way to get better at tying these rigs is just to keep practicing. When I'm sitting at home not fishing, I'm tying rigs so that when I'm at the beach, I don't have to spend time tying rigs there. Um, so this is really important for success. You could buy yourself some pre-tied rigs, but those will get pricey. And what happens when you're at the beach and you lose that rig? You're gonna need to learn how to tie it eventually. So I find that tying your own rigs is really beneficial. And for the other end, you're gonna tie the exact same knot except for this with the swivel. See? And remember, we have a swivel on here because when the line is in the water, a lot of times your line will start spinning around and it causes twists in your line. And when you get twists in your line, your line starts to knot up and your gear just starts acting really crappy. So you need this. And now, the most satisfying part, completing the rig with this. Size two hook. Um, and I say it's satisfying because I like how, I like the knot that's used to put the, the, the hook on. Um, you're going to basically want to just stick this loop through that little hole. See that? Pull it through, and then you're going to open that loop up, okay? Stick that hook through the loop and pull. And look at that. The nice part about this loop is if you don't want to use this hook size anymore, you can take it out. Right? You don't have to keep using this same hook size. You can take it out and use one of the smaller hooks from the kit and catch some more bait fish. You can catch bait fish with the small ones, hook it onto here, and cast it out. If it's legal, where you? If yeah, if it's <laughs> just putting it out there. All right. So the second hook. There you go. And here's the full rig. Look at that. Lovely. Now I'll usually sit here and tie probably seven or eight of these, just to have in my bag. So when I get to the beach. I can just worry about catching fish. I don't have to worry about tying rigs. I don't have to worry about buying myself more rigs. Um, tying your own rigs is a really good skill to have. Um, and for anyone who's wondering, will this work in my area? Yes, it will work in your area. This is a classic rig that's used all around the world. And I'm confident that anywhere you are, if there's fish there, you'll catch them with this rig. 
If you guys need more help with beach fishing, we have this guide available for sale um, in the link below. And it's a really, really great resource to have in your backpack. Just because when you get to the beach, you don't want to have to think so much. And if you forget anything, this is a really nice thing to refer to um, and bring you back to catching some fish. So let us do the hard work for you and you just relax and enjoy and catch some fish. If you guys don't want the gear and you already know what to get, but you still want to read the PDF and check it out, we have the PDF form available for instant download. Uh, just check the link below. Also, before we leave, hi, I just want to give a little PSA about your fishing line. Um, one thing that you can do with your fishing line when you are done fishing that will really help the environment, um, birds and fish and things that could possibly in the future get ensnared in this stuff when it eventually arrives in a, a landfill or, or in the ocean, we hope not, but it happens. Take your line, cut it up. That's all you gotta do. It's very simple. Saves the environment, very quick, very easy. I believe that it is our responsibility as fishermen to clean up after ourselves and to clean up when we see that there is fishing stuff in an area. Because I think that fishing we know is not great for the environment and if we still want to enjoy this resource that we have, we need to take care of it and we need to conserve it. So do your job. Pick up after pick yourself. Pick up after yourself. If you see other people's stuff, you know, it's it's your fishing spot too. You gotta help it's out, pick it up. It's your fish, it's your earth. Thank you. Guys, I hope this was helpful. I showed you guys how to tie the Paternoster rig today and um, that's just my personal favorite rig to use at the beach. What is What are some rigs that you guys like to use? What are your go-to rigs and your go-to knots? Comment below, let me know. Thank you guys for watching. See you next Thursday.